Hey, second grade, here is lesson 82 for phonics. Let's go over some of your sight words today. Repeat after me, several, heard, government, upside down, finally, Earth, early, usually, learn, animal, and America. Nice work. All right, let's get right to the review of sounds. Keeping in mind all of your different options when repeating the sound after me. Now, I did pre-write these so um, it would be a little smoother for you. All right, number one, repeat A. Go ahead and write it. Check with me. See, I kind of disagree with the phonics program on this one. I feel like AI in the medial and initial position should be there as well. So if you included that, good thinking. I would agree with you. All right, AY in the final position. All right, repeat after me. Ooh, repeat. Good, write it. Oh, oh. Number three, repeat O. Go ahead and write your options. O consonant E, comma O in the final position. It's O W like Mo, the grass or a hair bow. All right, for number four, repeat OI. Good, write your choices. In the initial and medial position, it's O-I. In the final position is O-Y, like toy. All right, number five, repeat ch. Go ahead and write it. Digraph, C-H. Final position, C-H as well, except when it's after a short vowel. It's T-C-H, like patch. Number six, repeat all. Go ahead and write your choices. L in the final position, LL, because of the floss rule. Number seven, ng, repeat. Like ring. NG. Number eight is bull, repeat, like bubble. Final stable syllable, B-L-E. And number nine is th, repeat. Okay. And check with mine, T-H like thimble. Okay, now for some review words. This word has a in the final position, the word is hey. Repeat hey. And right. H A Y. Number 11 is lodge. Repeat. Good. Now it's j in the final position following a short vowel. So it's a trigraph you need there, lodge. L-O-D-G-E. Number 12 is, I showed you, proud. Repeat proud. Sorry, second grade, hold on just a minute. You have to wear a coat if you go outside. That's Lil. Everybody say, hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> All right, proud has the owl in the medial position like mouse. Go ahead and spell it out. 
and there it is, proud. All right, these next ones are sight words. I'd like you to repeat after me, America. Oh, remember a capital A, it's a proper noun. America. Check with mine as soon as you're finished. The next sight word is Earth. Now this one, if it was the planet Earth, it would be a capital E, but this is just like I dig in the earth and the dirt. Repeat Earth and write. Check with mine. Next is government. Repeat government and write it. Check with mine. All right, kiddos. Next is your dictation sentence. Focus in on those important parts of sentence structure, capital letters where needed, correct punctuation, finger spell out those words, and you'll be good to go. Here is your dictation sentence. The rattlesnake hid in the dry grass. Rattlesnake, compound word. The rattlesnake hid in the dry grass. Go ahead and pause the video and write out that sentence. All right, welcome back, kiddos. Here is your sentence written correctly. Sight word the and rattle, final stable syllable, T-L-E, snake, hid in the dry grass. I sound in the final position of a short word is represented with vowel Y here. And here's a floss word rule. And don't forget to make sure you have your period in there. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some words. I'd like you to look at these two words for me. Here's one of them. And here is the second one. I'll give you a minute to look at them. Can you read these words to yourself? Yes, this is cupful and hopeful. I have a cup full of hot chocolate, and I am hopeful to get a snow day. Snow days. Each of these words contain a suffix. Remember, a suffix comes in the final part of a word added to a base word, and it changes the meaning of the base word a little bit. So this is suffix F-U-L, full. Okay, and what do you think that means? It means to be full of something. So your cup is full. You are hopeful, full of hope. Okay. And what do we do to suffixes? In the, in the, yep, yep, you box them. Box them. Accent right before. That's one of the suffixes we're going to talk about today. Here's the next one. Take a look at these words. To look at him, see if you can figure out what the suffix is. This is the word thickness and redness. This has a suffix N E S S. And what do you think the meaning of the suffix N E S S is? Ness means that something has a certain quality. For example, the word redness means that something has the quality of red. And the word thickness means something has the quality condition of being thick. So if you have a really thick book, the thickness tells you it has a quality of being thick. Okay. Remember how we code is boxing those suffixes. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that we have a base word, or some teachers call it a root word, cup, hope, thick, and red, are all those base words, okay? And let's go ahead and code the rest of these words. Couple should have a K back. Hope has a make run over that O. Cross out the silent E. Thickness has a digraph TH, digraph CK. 
Breathe that E, breathe that E, breathe the I, breathe the E, sorry. And that's how you code these words. Okay, let's go ahead and spell some words with these two suffixes in them. So first we're going to take a look back at that page 82, the back of what we just did. And let's look at number one. Please repeat after me. Number one is harmful. Repeat. Harmful. Good. Full of harm. Um, if a playground is broken, maybe the slide is broken, it can be harmful. It can have ways to hurt you. Maybe there's something poking out or broken. Go ahead and write and repeat harmful. And take a look at mine. All right, number two is goodness. Okay, goodness, repeat. Quality of being good. So write that base word good and then add the suffix ness and take a look at mine. Nice job, second graders. And here is the next word it's hopeful, repeat. Good, full of hope. You are hopeful. Go ahead and write it. Then check your answer with mine. Make any changes that are needed. Okay. And do your high frequency word box with your teacher at home. The next thing I want you to do is on your own today so you can be self-reflective and think about what am I really great at? Oh, I'm really good at coding or I never forget my vowels. Oh, I remember my k backs. Whatever it is that you're really great at. And then if you are missing some things, Maybe the RUW you need extra practice on, or you need extra practice on coding because you miss a few, you can do the back, okay, and ask for some help at home from your family. So go ahead and do all of the coding and all of the RUW. Make sure you read the paragraph a couple of times if you need to, and then come on back and we'll go over the answers, okay? So go ahead and pause me and do that next page. Right. Welcome back, kiddos. Here is your papers. I think that I'm going to try to close up on this a little bit. See if I can. That's better. All right. So you'll see that number one, we box the suffix. I hope you box the suffix. That's what the lesson is today. And here's the examples right here. Don't forget, after you box a suffix, to make sure you have a base word by coding it out and seeing if you can figure it out and get that accent mark right before the suffix. There's a digraph SH and an A consonant E. The base word is shame or root word. And full is the suffix. Together it makes shameful, full of shame or embarrassed. Number two, here's full again, suffix full accent right before it. Here is a digraph SH. All vowels need coded. I know this vowel is short because it's followed by a consonant. Wish full. Wishful. Full of wishing or hope. Number three. Box that NESS, a quality of. I see a CK digraph. Remember how to do that. You underline the CK, cross out the C, Breathe that I. Make sure you remember the accent. Number four also has one of our suffixes from today. You should have boxed N-E-S-S -S and put that um, accent mark there in combination arc under A-R. Tulip was from yesterday's lesson. Code vowel to vowel. There's one consonant in between. When you see that V-C-V -V pattern, your first choice is to put a division line right after that V. Now I can take a look at those vowels. Vowel U has no consonant after it. So it is macrand. Also accenting the first syllable is usually your first choice with vowel consonant vowel. And the I is short breathed because it's followed by a consonant. And there is a tulip, a kind of flower in the spring. Number six has a trigraph, trigraph TCH. And I cross out the T because it's silent, underline the trigraph. And I know right away that vowel is short because I use TCH after a short vowel instead of just CH. And that word is switch, a light switch. Okay. 
Now at the bottom, when did Mitch get up? He got up at 12 o'clock, and I know that because right over here at 12 o'clock, Mitch got up. It says it right there for me, and that's my text evidence, and I crossed out off my RUW checklist. Number eight, why did Mitch slip? You'll see in purple here, it said Mitch slipped on Jim's toys. That's why he slipped. So I restated the question, Mitch slipped on Jim's toys. It's actually just like there in the paragraph. Number nine, we should pick up our toys so people don't slip. Yes, and I'm proving it to you by showing you it said that he fell on the couch. If he fell on the couch, that's not safe. So I want to make sure that's my evidence to proving that yes, you should clean up your toys. Okay, so go back and think, did I have a lot of codes I forgot and had to write in? Um, did I get all my answers correct down here? If you need extra practice, use the back to help guide you through that. All right, thank you second grade. And don't forget about your new suffixes today. Suffix N-E-S-S, -S, suffix ness, which means a quality of, and suffix fool, suffix F-U-L, that means full of. Thanks, everybody.